Hi, my name's Helen. I'm a physio with a special interest in pelvic health um, and I'm also a yoga teacher. So this video is going to be for pelvic stretches um, and also thinking about relaxing through the pelvic floor. So um, grab lots of cushions or pillows for this one um, and maybe a blanket. Just make sure you're in something comfortable um, and that you're nice and warm. A mat if you have one is great but if not you can do this just on the floor or on your bed anywhere that you feel safe and comfortable. So with this because potentially we're working into areas that are a little uncomfortable um, then we need to be really mindful that we're working in a range that your body is happy with um, so that we can relax the body. We want to kick into your parasympathetic nervous system. So that is your rest and digest, your calm state. So with this, the golden rules are that if any of the positions are making you do a facial because it's a bit too strong, um, or if they're making you breath hold, or it feels threatening to your body, so it feels like everything tensing up, then you're taking it too far. The more you modify, the more you add cushions, the more you rein it in and listen to your body so you can truly relax when you're doing it, that is when you're gonna to start to feel the benefit um, and truly get the most from it. So, um, let's get started. So come to your mat, make sure you're, as I said, nice and warm and comfortable. So we're gonna start seated. So that could be on a chair, on the side of your bed, um, on the side of a sofa, or on the floor. And you might choose to have cushions to sit on to make that more accessible, or a little step, whatever works well for you. If cross-legged isn't an option, you can have legs out long, you can have one bent, or take a chair, as I said. If knees wide is uncomfortable, block with those pillows but make sure you're in a comfortable position for you. And then we're gonna bring your awareness to your breath. If you're happy to close your eyes up, then do so. If not, just have a soft gaze and bring your awareness to your breath. Don't try and change anything. Just notice the breath tracing in and out. As your mind wanders, accept that without judgment and just bring it back to focusing on tracing the breath in and tracing the breath back out. So keeping with this breathing, now just bring some awareness to it. Where do you feel the breath travelling to? Do you just notice it in through the nose? Do you feel it in the back of your mouth? Do you feel it in the top of your chest? Your rib cage? Your belly? What about your jaw? Is your jaw relaxed? Can you let the lower jaw relax further? and the tongue come away from the roof of your mouth. Your shoulders, can you create any more width through them and lower them any further from your ear without this being forced downwards? your belly. As you take that in breath, can you think about the breath coming down to that belly and let the belly expand, let the belly relax. And as you do that, can you feel the rib cage expanding every which direction? If not, don't worry. But just see with your breath if you can think about directing that breath low into that belly. Sometimes it can be useful to wrap your hands around the rib cage or using a dressing gown cord so you wrap it around the back and just cross it over the front once 
Just make sure those shoulders then stay nice and chilled. Or you can pop a hand on the belly. So this is the relaxed breathing or diaphragmatic or belly breathing that we want to achieve with the stretches just so that we're in our rest and digest, calming state. So I'll keep reminding you of this as we're in each stretch. So before we move from this position, just think about those steady in-breaths, out-breaths, the jaw being nice, relaxed, the shoulders being nice and chilled, and let that belly relax. And then we're going to try some seated pelvic tilts. So this is where we tuck our tailbone under and roll off those sit bones and then when you come up tall to come back on to the sit bones. So it might be a small movement and if you find any areas of tension you might want to pause and just see if you can take a breath and try and direct the breath down to that area of tension. If it's all a bit much today then just keep your focus on the breath. But just see with those areas, with the breath, with the out breath, you can just let the area just release that little bit more. So you're coming off the sit bone and then you're stacking back up. So move in a range that's comfortable for you. Steady breaths in and out. And as I say, don't be afraid to hold into a position if you just want to release a little bit more. We're going to move on to Seated Mermaid. So with this one, you're going to place a hand down on the floor and thinking about pressing the rib cage the other direction. So it might be enough just to press the rib cage and take a breath in and out here. If this is feeling quite comfortable, you might want to add the arm up and over. And then we're going to come the other direction. So ground through the hand, thinking about pressing the ribs to the side to get that lengthen through your side body. That might be enough here. Or you might be able to add that arm in. Direct that breath down to any areas of tension and we'll try and release a little bit more on the out breath. Back into centre. Once more. Remember those rules. We want to keep the face nice and chill so it's not making you tense through the face. You can still breathe and it doesn't feel in any way threatening. And coming back into centre, we're going to lower down to the floor now. So keep your cushions close, have loads around so you've got options. You might want a pillow for your head you might want this blanket to cover yourself over when you're holding into positions. Your choice, make this your own. So coming down to lie on your back. If it's uncomfortable to lie fully down, then come onto your side, lower yourself down, and then take a roll onto your back. So again, we're gonna work with a couple of those pelvic tilts. So with your knees bent, you're thinking about bringing hips up to ribs to press the lower back into the floor, but we're still staying down though here. And then roll the hips away to get a bit of an arch through the lower back, keeping the ribs nice and soft though. So with a steady breath, you're just working on rolling hips to ribs, pressing the lower back gently to the floor, and then roll the hips away, ribs stay soft, just to arch through that lower back. So just a couple more here. Steady breath in and out. Jaw relaxed and shoulders nice and chilled. And 
last one. And coming back into centre, so just relax everything off here. So we're going to start working through the legs now. So with one leg, you're going to pick it up and just bring it towards you. So you need to see how comfortable this is. I want you to be able to keep your back nice and chilled on the floor. So if you feel like the back is arching away, then slide that foot towards you before taking off. So depending on how this is feeling, you might be here. Make sure the shoulders are nice and relaxed. But you can take this into range depending on how it feels happy. You might want to bring the knee straight up, you might want to angle it out towards the shoulder a little. See what feels right for you. But wherever you are, make sure you can relax into this. You can hold behind the knee or over, but just make sure you're nice and gentle with yourself. And then when we're here, focus on that breath again. Jaw relaxed, shoulders relaxed, belly relaxed. She so breathe in through the nose, you direct it down to the belly of the rib cage. And just let it melt away on the breath out. So keep going here. With that in breath, can you feel the belly move? Can you feel the rib cage come in contact with the floor of your bed a little bit more? Bring that awareness to your jaw again. Is the lower jaw nice and relaxed? Bringing the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. Does that help you create a deeper in-breath? So we're going to come out of this position now. So you might want to use your hands because you've been held in one position. So use your hands to just gently guide the leg away, popping the foot down close to the bottom. If you feel you want to move or have any shift or sway, then go for that now. And then we're coming to the other side. So again, if back is happy, you can pick the foot straight up. If that is uncomfortable, slide the foot towards you then take your hand to the thigh and guide it in. So take your position that feels right for you and it might be quite different one side to the other. And then working with the breath, just see if you can guide that leg to where it's happy coming to. And then refocus on that breath. Steady in breath and out breath. Same rules. Is your face nice and chilled? Are your shoulders relaxed? Nestling down to the floor or your bed? Can you make that lower jaw any heavier? And can you become aware of where you're feeling that breath in your body? And with every out breath, can you just melt and relax a little bit further? If you're holding these positions and the time you're in them becomes uncomfortable, feel free to come out of any of the positions before I'm saying, or it might be that you just need to back off. Adapt it, play with it, make it your own. So we're gonna pop this leg down to the floor. So again, use your hands. Take the weight of the leg before lower down. So we're going to work with a little pelvic sway now. So this is a small movement. You might want to keep your hands on the belly. You might want to take them out wide, palms up. This is a nice open position through the chest. So if you can take this, then that would be lovely. So with this one, the back just stays nice and relaxed down on the floor. And you're just guiding my knees one way, the other way, and the other. So this might be a tiny little sway, so it doesn't feel threatening and feels 
nice and relaxed. Or you might be able to go larger range. This is where pillows might come in. So you can go and make sure you're blocked. You can bring another one in. And then your choice, whether you just alternate between one side and the other. You can see why I said lots of pillows now, because you can use the same on the other side. Or you can hold into position, make sure the ribs are nice and chilled. And then a few breaths in and out here. You decide. The other thing you can do is pop a pillow between the knees and just gently squeeze it as you roll. That can sometimes help it feel more comfortable and more in your control. So whichever option you're taking, just make sure you can keep that steady in breath, out breath. As you go. Releasing off if you pop the pillow there now. You're going to come back to the first leg and you're going to slide it in, picking the knee back up. This time we're going to bring the knee towards the opposite shoulder. So tend to need a hand on the top of that knee and you're just guiding it in. Now we've kept the other leg bent throughout this. You might prefer having it out long. So that does tend to pull the pelvis forward. So you might be somewhere in the middle, but see what works for you. And then you're gently drawing the knee towards the opposite shoulder. Same rules, be able to breathe, draw shoulders and belly relaxed. And trace that breath in and out. It might be as we go through this video that you think one of these just really isn't for me, in which case come out of it, pick another one, or just have a relax and focus on your breath just in the neutral position. So we're going to come out of this position, so again use those hands to guide the leg away, foot to the floor, and then we'll go to the other side. So scoop that leg in, decide where you want that other leg and then you're gently drawing in across towards the opposite shoulder. And again, that might be up here, or you might just be over here. It really doesn't matter as long as it's the right place for you. And as you progress with it, then you can ease it in. But everyone is different, everyone's range of movement is different. And you might very well find it's different depending on what time of day you do this or where your comfort is that day. So guiding that leg back out, using those hands. Foot close to the bottom as you lower it down. And take any wiggles or adjustments you want at this time. So next we're gonna to come to a figure four position. So coming back to the first leg, slide the leg up. And here you want to put the knee Sorry, the foot onto the opposite thigh, just above the knee. And then from here, you want to guide the knee out towards the side. So this might be minimal movement if you're quite tight onto the inner thigh, or you might be able to gently encourage the knee quite wide. Again, make sure you can breathe, shoulders are chilled, jaw is relaxed, and belly is relaxed. Then bring that awareness to the breath. If this is okay and you want a little bit more of a stretch, then you can slide the heel in towards you and pick up that bottom foot. This is going to make it feel a lot tighter through the bottom on that side that the stretch is on. If okay, if you're okay again, then you can help guide the knee out a little further or draw the knee up. But you must make sure you can still breathe. You don't want the body going whoop. We want the nervous system to be nice and chilled. So less is definitely more with this. If you have 
any negative thoughts whilst you're doing this and the frustration about what your body can and can't do, try and let that go. Meet your body where it's at. And gently guide those thoughts back to focusing on the breath, tracing in and out. We're going to pop that leg down if it is raised. And we're going to come out of this position so we can use those hands, take the load of the leg and help guide it down. Again, if you feel you want any wriggles, just want to straighten the leg out, then go for it before we go for the other side. So scooping the leg in, foot comes to the top of the knee and then you're helping guide that knee out. Now when you do this, try and make sure that we're not rolling through the pelvis, that the lower back stays flat. And that's just because we want the stretch to come to the inner thigh with this, rather than you just moving through, through the back. So see what's right for you this side. That option, scooping and picking up. And see if you can encourage that knee wide again. But just check the shoulder stay chilled. Really easy for those to become tense in this position. And reconnect with that breath. into inner thigh as well. So first leg again, drawing that leg in. So again we're coming knees towards the same shoulder this time. So that might be here and you're just gently drawing towards the same shoulder. Or you might be able to come further into range. So options, holding behind the knee with this coming down onto the shin to help draw that knee into shoulder or you can hold under foot if your knee is really close to that shoulder. Other knees stay nice and bent. So you should feel this into the hamstring at the back of the leg, probably into the glutes as well and a bit into the inner thigh, your adductors. So take whichever option, remembering the rules, no facials, you can still breathe, Jaw relaxed, belly relaxed. So take your option, wherever that is. So let the heel drop towards the bottom and then scoot that foot close to the bottom to come to the floor. Again, any wiggles, go for it before coming to the other side. So scoot the foot in, picking up and then see where you can guide this knee up towards the same shoulder on the other side. And then that option again, holding behind the knee, coming onto the shin onto that foot. You want the back nice and relaxed. You might find here, depending on how tight you are through lower back, that your tailbone wants to tuck under. So options for that, if you're on a bed, you're going to find that less. Option, you could pop a pillow um, under your bottom to make this more accessible because it will just tip the pelvis. Should have said that on the first side, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be doing this more than once. 
on that note, it would be great if you could get into a regular practice where you gave yourself time to do this. And that might be every other day, every two days, um, every day. Just see what works for you. And if this is all new for you, then I do recommend a good rest day or two days between. Or it might be that you take a couple of those stretches, ones you feel you like the most, and work on those. So we're going to ease off from here. So use those hands, but comes towards bottom before you lower down. And if you're happy with a the pillow there, you can keep it there, your choice. We're going to come to butterfly pose now. So this is where we're going to take feet quite close to the bottom as it's comfortable in the thigh and the knee. And then we're going to let the knees, both knees, float to the side. So again, you might want pillows galore. So I'm going to remove my one from my bottom boot under my bum, but you might want it there. And then you might want more cushions to block. So say your range is here before you start feeling a pull on the inner thigh, then you need to bolster up until you feel that, that you can relax and let go in that position, otherwise you're holding your legs there and that's not going to be very relaxing. So get those cushions, use the back of the sofa if you've not got enough cushions, just so you can feel you can relax into range. And as I said, if this becomes any tension in lower back, a pillow under lower back is useful. So for now, so you can see, and so I'm even, I'm gonna remove some pillows. So with this, you can have heels and soles of the feet together, or you can have them a little bit separate. It depends what's most comfortable. You can have feet further away. Play with it, see what makes it accessible and nice for you to achieve. So check in then, in your position, and this is where you might want your blanket on over this one because we're going to stay here for a little bit longer to work through a mindful practice. So grab that blanket if you want. Check in with the jaw, can you release the jaw? Can you make those shoulders nice and heavy to the mat? Can you release through the inner thigh? You're not holding. Is your belly relaxed? Hands for this one. You might want them on your belly. You might want them down by your side. If they're by your side, turn palm up. It just helps you to relax through the shoulders more. In a nice open position. So when you feel comfortable, Bring the awareness to your breath. At any point, if it becomes uncomfortable, make adjustments. You might need to put more pillows in. You might decide you need to guide the legs in and come and roll onto your side. Do whatever you need at whatever point. If you're happy to, close those eyes off. And we're just going to work on a mindful breath practice. If your mind wanders, accept that without judgment and just bring it back to what we're focusing on. So become aware of tracing the breath in through the nose, down the throat and direct it as far down as you can to that belly. And as you breathe out, just see if you can melt everything, make it feel a little heavier against the floor or the bed. Can you relax your jaw anymore? Can you let that lower jaw hang any heavier? The tongue coming away from the roof of your mouth. through the front of your chest with the in-breath and can you feel that sense of width as you breathe out
tracing that breath down to the belly. Can you feel the breath go any lower than the belly? Can you feel it into the pelvis, into the legs? How far can that breath in go? Can it reach your toes? with your in-breath. If you become any aware of any areas of tension or discomfort, can you breathe into those areas? And can you let the breath release it on the out-breath? frustration and anger about those areas, can you let that go? Can you just notice it for what it is? And some days that might be too much, in which case keep your focus on the breath and the sensation in your chest or away from those areas. But if you can, This is called self-compassion. In those areas, can you just accept it for what it is? And release it on the out-breath. We're often very good at giving compassion to other people. You can see if other people are upset or hurt. then often we are compassionate towards them, giving them a cup of tea, giving them a hug, giving them some time. Can you do the same for yourself here? So keeping your awareness with this for the next five breaths, judgment and just bring it back to tracing the breath in and releasing off on that out breath as much as you can. Check in with the jaw. Can you make it any heavier? Check in with the shoulders. Can you make them any heavier into the floor or the mat? And with your belly, can you truly relax it? Feeling the breath tracing and melt away. Turning to normal breath pattern for you now. And give those fingers and toes a little bit of a wriggle. And then bringing that into more of a wrist circle, letting the elbows move. Guiding the hands to the legs. So again, coming out of this position, a couple of options. Encouraging one knee in towards the other, or you might choose to roll onto your side. So whichever option you feel. So I'm gonna go with the rolling onto my side. So I'm gonna guide one leg over, roll on to one side and just adjust my hips. If you're onto your back, you might want those knees together, feet on the floor, or you might want to guide those knees up towards you to 
draw into a ball. If you have got pillows here blocking the knees, you might want to remove. So feel free to stay in this position as long as you want. But I'm going to come out of this position now and just recap a few things. So I hope you've enjoyed that number one, it needs to be enjoyable. If anything in that felt threatening, remember the rules, you need to make sure you're doing it at a level that allows you to relax, allows that steady breath and make sure there's no facials creeping in or tension creeping in. If you need to discuss this further with anyone then please feel free with us family members, um, public health physio, anyone, if things have crept up from this, please discuss it with someone. And always feel free to leave me any questions, comments, um, and I will get back to you. Thank you for joining me.